hello who is here i did not expect you to be here it's a well delayed may self grow diaries and just my summer plans it's actually the end of the june i know i know i've been busy been busy with real estate studying it applying to the jobs but i just want to revisit may and just highlight all the things that i learned may was actually quite good and i did a lot of self-work a lot of journaling it was more intense and i feel like i was able to be more honest with myself this little friend is my really really trusted familiar <laughs> no i'm joking but i really kind of found my way of journaling i actually want to make a separate video about it how i journal now it's so comfortable to me and i asked myself a lot of questions and really started focusing on my future self and who she is i really started asking myself is it beneficial to my future self what would my future self want for me etc i'm also in the process of getting my creative spark back i was really lost creatively since 2020 after like my internship because it was so tough i really was burned out i didn't know who i was creatively and then moving here was kind Kind of a difficult process especially waiting for you know all the documents work permit green card so i think like i really lost my spark and didn't know what to do creatively nothing would stick but this time i would you know journal and read and write which is also such a big aspect of me i started sewing i started volunteering at the local theater which is so much fun i have so many ideas i started working on my fashion uh, journal portfolio but anyways i just feel way more creative and i kind of know which direction i want to go creatively i have a lot of ideas for writing little screenplays and making videos and taking photos and i was also really pushing myself out of my comfort zone in may and i feel like it really paid off because i do feel way more free and more like myself i feel like i'm becoming who i'm supposed to be i also started consuming media movies content that really sparks the creativity inside of me it was always like that i was a very avid movie watcher but something changed and i stopped watching movies i tried to push myself last year to watch 100 movies i think i was very close but the majority of it was thanks to the marvel movies because i just decided to watch the marvel movies and <laughs> this year i'm really focusing on more creative movies something um not so ordinary art house uh, international movies i really miss that i used to go to the cinema in bruges quite often and watch a lot of international movies and i really 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 miss that so i'm really trying to push myself more this year in may i was also looking for my confidence and trying to look for the ways of stopping making myself so small and letting others encroach on my space because this is really frustrating and i grew up being a people pleaser and i'm joking that i'm a recovering people pleaser however it's still a process i'm not fully recovered yet <laughs> i am still working on myself and i'm in the process of being more gentle and kinder to myself setting my boundaries firm and letting others know like hey you cannot do that this is my space you cannot talk to me like that this is unacceptable it's it's hard because by nature uh in my communication style i'm also very firm and direct like i cannot really lie but i taught myself to be direct but not an asshole you know because i feel like a lot of people really confuse being honest direct and an asshole and they think it's one thing which is absolutely not true however i also understand that i can be too direct for some people you have to find this like middle ground you know i still want to be nice and sweet but i also want to deliver my message to people so i'm working on that very actively and it's definitely a journey i definitely have done so much work in the past well at this point six months but i'll talk about june in another video but i've done so much work just this year alone i think my dad's death really pushed me and made me reevaluate my life and say like hey what are my values right now what do i accept why do i no longer accept is it worth it to put a fake mask and pretend that you are someone else like uh, hey girl how are you 
while it's not actually you and you can be a different type of person i want to be genuine in my connections with people i really want to create community around me and i think just realizing that yes we all put masks on and for a lot of people it does pay off to put, put a mask off and to climb the ladder of life or jobs or whatever i cannot do that it does influence my motivation and my confidence and my sense of self and who i am as a person as the general consensus for me is to be as authentic as possible anyways it's it's been a journey just to go through all those things but i changed so much from even last year even heck even in january or february i was a completely different person and now it's june i'm talking about my may journey i am way more different person in june than i was in may the growth that i do this year because i do it actively is really amazing and i wrote in my little journal that in june and in summer particularly i really want to create routines and work on my habits i also wrote this might be my last summer and this is something that i have been thinking reflecting again on my dad's death and summer 2022 was his last summer and I don't think he knew that, I don't think he fully realized that and this is such a tragic that you know for a lot of people this summer will be the last summer and even the reality is that some people did not wake up this Monday and some people will not go to sleep this Monday because they will no longer be here and this is the reality of life and this is what makes me be more grateful and appreciative of the things and people and opportunities that I do have or don't have because I feel like we also have to be grateful for the things that we don't have whatever it may be you know but i think it's very important to say like hey well thank you that i'm not in this situation and thank you that i'm actually living this life is my life perfect no but i'm very content with who i am and who i am becoming despite the fact that it's very very tough especially if you know the job search journey it's another topic and it's draining anyways that's not important <laughs> it's really not important but whatever i just my point is that it's important to be grateful because one thing and one thing only in life is promised we all will die that's that's it no matter how rich poor young old you are this is the reality and i think this is just important to remember to move forward and be more appreciative and grateful for where you are who you are and maybe it will give you motivation to be more authentic and realistic and keep working on myself it definitely like motivates me also i wrote for june and summer obviously keep working on myself and i still have a lot of work to do i think it's a never-ending job honestly like you always keep working on yourself my ultimate goal is to be happy with myself be at peace with myself and work on my health struggling with that but i keep pushing through i'm brazilian i really learned that i'm fucking resilient i'm like a cockroach you cannot really kill me unless it's an actual death that would kill me obviously i will die then i wrote keep creating art design uh journaling i am kind of okay i've been are journaling a lot so that's i think counts and then i wrote continue consuming important for me creative content still trying to do that trying to watch more movies although my attention span really changed and who am i supposed to blame for that TikTok. well it's it's me it's me i blame myself for that but yeah i don't know it's been kind of an interesting month may it flew by so quickly but it's been quite interesting and i'm really grateful for the growth that i've done i guess so that was a little overview of my may growth i'm really curious if anyone who watches this <laughs> anyways i have to stay positive you know i really have a question for you whoever watches it what would your future self want for you this is a question that i ask myself a lot this is the question that i ask myself a lot i think it's an important question to ask yourself because this can put a lot of the things in perspective your journey your values your goals your aspirations and just other little things like your style and self-expression so i think this is quite important to ask yourself so maybe journal about it think about it and i see you in the next video bye